What's up, everyone? Garrett here from Code the Web, and welcome back to our PHP series. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today is the next step in the functions uh, lesson. And in the last video, we talked about a lot of some functions that were already built in the PHP and how to do kind of some awesome stuff with them. In this uh, video, however, we're going to talk about how to make our own functions so that we can have some executable code that we can use later on in our program or website or whatever you're making. Um, so let's get to it. So how do we start off by making a function? Well, the first thing we have to do is type in this keyword function, which tells uh, basically tells them that this is going to be the start of creating a function. And the next thing we're going to do is called a uh, write we're going to be giving it the name. That's what this is right here. This is write name. That's what our function is going to be called. Um, and we're also going to open it up. It looks similar to an if statement or anything else we do. It just has some different keywords and some different names and stuff like that. And remember when you're doing this that if you have two words in your function name, you have to start out with no capital in the first letter of the first word. And then this first letter of the second word gets capital. Same thing for every other word after that. So if the next word was last, I would have to capitalize the L. Um, okay, so what is this function going to do? We're just going to say uh, echo my name. It's really simple. We're just going to keep it simple for right now. And then what we're going to do is if we save this and go to our browser, we'll notice that nothing happens. And if we refresh the page, still nothing happens. And that's good because we didn't actually call the function. What you have to do is a function is just a bit of code that is saved in the program so that you can use it later. If you want to actually execute it, you have to do what's called calling your function. And the way we do this is just type that which is the name. So if we do that, it's going to say Garrett, because finally, we've called the function, we told it, this function execute it. Okay, great. So now let's, uh, let's try and do some more interesting things with this. So how about if we want to not only write the name, but maybe, you know, greet the person, you know, say hello, or something like that. Or what if we don't actually have the name, let's say the name is equal to whatever the user puts in. So we're just going to have it equal to the variable name. So first, we're going to say, hello, so and so. And then we're gonna have another one down here that has a space exclamation mark. And uh, right now, once again, nothing is going to happen. Well, it did happen because we did call it we called it and it just said hello exclamation mark. But we have this variable and this variable doesn't actually exist. So what we need to do is we have to have this, uh, we have to add, we have to talk about arguments and parameters here. So a function or anything here, what, what goes inside of these parentheses are the arguments or are the parameters It's kind of the same thing. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to tell it that the variable name, which we're declaring the variable right here, by the way, the variable name, uh, you can you can write to it, you can talk to it, you have permission, this function here has permission to execute you and, and take advantage of that variable name. That's basically what that's saying. Now, if we do this, we'll notice that nothing actually changes. And that's because whatever we have to now go in here, see, we have these two parentheses down here. So if we add something to this, whatever is in here is going to be sent to here, which is going to be sent to there. Hope that makes sense. So if we type in my name, it's going to say Hello, Garrett. Great. Awesome. And we actually don't need that right there. That's more like it. All right, cool. So um, now obviously, we're telling it what the name is. But in your program, and we're gonna get into this, you know, later on, in your program, uh, you can have, uh, you know, you can see whatever the user puts into a form or something like that could be what this equals. Right. So then it would send that to there and you basically be able to deal with user input and things like that. All right, so now let's talk about the return keyword. And that is we actually don't need any of this. Ah, we're gonna we can keep this actually, we're gonna get rid of that though. And we're also gonna get rid of this variable up here. We're just gonna have the return keyword. And we're gonna say Hello, world. All right, cool. So we're calling the function. And if we refresh this page, we'll notice that nothing happens. Now, why doesn't anything happen? And that's a wonderful question. Um, the reason nothing happens is because return and echo are two kind of different things. What happens is the word echo or the term the keyword echo um, actually prints out 
or it doesn't print out. It should print out whatever follows like that. But return doesn't actually print anything out. It just, it inside the code, it returns this value or whatever follows it and it, it readies it for the code to use. So we don't actually get to see it as an executable, um, tangible element of our program or of our site at end result, but it's there. The computer or the program is then able to use that value. That value was then brought in and we can then use it down the line for something else. So I just wanted to let you guys know what the return keyword is because it's very important and you'll see it a lot. So that is unfortunately it for this video, kind of a quick one. If you have not yet followed us on Twitter or liked us on Facebook, definitely do so because we've got some awesome content over there that does not get posted to YouTube. Both links to those social media pages will be in the description. Also rate and comment. Um, let me know if you like it, if you don't like it, if you have any suggestions, or if you have anything that you would like to see me show you guys how to do, definitely let me know by commenting below this video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.